morning ladies and gentlemen bird we're here trusting that you are doing well my sister and brother i hope you had a super awesome weekend i know i did i did i had an awesome weekend so may i may i ask you did you take time out to study remember we must study we must study and we know it's laid on planet earth and the solution is jesus christ the earth is becoming an old garment and the solution is jesus christ and he stayed for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life and that is john 3 16. let us go ahead and bow for prayer father god i thank you father god for this beautiful day father god right now father god i ask you that you will decrease me so that you will be increased allow your holy spirit father god to take full control i thank you in jesus name amen and amen okay scripture reading is coming from romans 9 17. romans 9 verses 17 and it says i will praise the lord according to his righteousness i will sing praise to the name of the lord most high may the lord add a blessing to the reading hearing and the doing of his words let's get into our topic and we are in ellen g white angels the truth about angels truth about angels we are talking about the truth where we believe about the truth it says and the truth shall set you free and it says creation of the angels the father wrought by his son in the creation of all heavenly beings by him were all things created whether they be throne or domination or on uh, right denomination mean meaning domination or principality or power all things were created by him and for him and then this is on one of uh, Ellen G. White's other book Patriarch and Prophet page 34 and it goes on it says before the creation of man angels were in existence for when the foundation of the earth was laid, the morning stars sung together, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. And you can find this in Job 38, verses 7. After the man, no, no, after the fall of man, angels were sent to guard the tree of life. And this before a human being had died. Angels are in nature superior to man. For the psalmists say that man was made a little lower than the angels. And this is coming from Psalms uh, 8, uh, verse 5. And you can also find this if you have the Great Controversy. And this is also one of Ellen G. White's books. The Great Controversy. And you can find that in page uh, 511. So it states here. So it says... It says, by him were all things created, whether they be throne or dominions or principality or power, all things were created by him and for him. And it says here, uh, from eternal ages, it was God's purpose that every created being from the bright and holy cherubim to man, meaning the cherubim, the angels, should be a temple for the indwelling of the creator. And then here is another book by Ellen G. White. I don't have that one. Uh, I mean, I have it in my library, but I don't have it so you can see it. And this is the Desire of Ages, pages 161. And that is a beautiful um, story. It talks about uh, the, the, the story about Jesus, creation, and all this stuff. It goes into a uh, depth of information um it's it's a bigger volume book but it's some wealth of information in there and it says all created being live by the will and the power of god they are dependent recipient of the life of god from the highest sherem to the humblest uh, animated being all are replenished from the source of life and this is coming from again this desire of ages pages 785 see i told you it was a big book so it goes on to say when the lord created these angelic beings to stand before his throne they were beautiful and glorious 
their loveliness and holiness were equal to their exalted station. They were enriched by the wisdom of God and girded with array of heaven, or meaning the collections of heaven. Okay, so that concludes our topic. And then you could also find this in the Signs of the Times, uh, April 14, it says 1898. Mm. So and tomorrow we're going to go into creation of Lucifer. Mm. Creation of Lucifer, you know that was the name that was given uh, to the, um, I guess it would be the second in command because this would be um, the angels that stood, he stood in the presence of God. Can you believe it? He stood in the presence of God. And so we wanna talk about the creation of Lucifer tomorrow. And we know as we go into the topic, we'll find out more about Lucifer. So I'm not gonna go say anything about Lucifer, but that is the archangel that we'll be talking about tomorrow. So may I share with you my devotion? May I share with you my devotion? Sometimes I, I, I get ahead of myself, but I don't want to get ahead of myself today. So let me close my mouth. So this is God in, God is in every place. God is in every place. And I forgot to put this on my Facebook wall, but I do it after. Unto the angels of the church of Ephesus write, These things said he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlestick? I know thy work. And this is coming from Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 and 2. Revelations 2, chapter 1. No, no. Um, Revelation 2, verses 1 and 2. Okay, let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father, to continue to take full control. And I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. It says, these words fall from the lips of one who cannot lie. The picture reveals eternal vigilance. Christ is in the midst of the seven golden candlestick, walking from church to church, from congregation to congregation, from heart to heart. He that keepeth Israel neither slumber nor sleep. If the candlestick was, candlesticks were left to the care of human agents, how often the light would flicker and go out. But God has not given his church into the hands of man. Christ, the one who gave his life for the world, that all who believe in him may not perish, but have everlasting life, is the true watchman of the house. He is the warder, meaning he's the guard, faithful and true of the temple's courts of the Lord. We have reason to thank God that we are not dependent upon the presence of earthly priests or minister. Thank you, Lord. We are kept by the power of God. The presence and grace of Christ is the secret of all life and light. Let me repeat this. The presence and grace of Christ is the secret of all life and light. A holy watcher notes every work and actions of our life and weighed every motive that prompts to action. The hands that trace the characters on the wall of Belshazzar Palace is everywhere writing, God is here. God is in every place. All our words, all our plans, all our secret motives are weighed in the balance of the infinite justice and truth. Shall the compassionate, self-sacrificing Savior find us wanting in tenderness, love, sympathy for those for whom he gave his life? God has granted us great, gracious opportunity for the service. He has provided us with precious talent, and we are unanswerable to him for the use 
we make of them. Let me repeat that. He has provided us with precious talents and we are unanswerable, uh, we are answerable to him for the use we made of them. If we use them wisely, God will call us laborer together with him. If we cleanse ourselves from every impure, selfish principles, we shall one day hear the benediction. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. And this is coming from Matthew chapter 25, verses 21. Under, in, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, Hannah, the mother of Samuel, said, The Lord is a God of knowledge, and by man's actions are weighted. And this is coming from 1 Samuel, verses, chap, 1 Samuel chapter 2, verses 3. And David said, Men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degrees are a lie. Let me repeat that. Men of low degree are vanity, and men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. And this is confined us in Psalm 62, verses 9. Isaiah declare, declare, Isaiah declare, Thou most upright, thus weigh the path of the just. And this is coming from Isaiah 26, uh, verses 7. And Solomon writes, all the things, no, 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 all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes, but the Lord weigheth the spirit. And this is coming from Proverbs 16, verses 2. There is not a motive in the heart that the Lord does not read. Let me repeat that. There is not a motive in the heart that the Lord does not read. He reads every purpose and every thought. So that concludes my devotion. God is in every place. Mm. Wow, God is in every place. So with that, let me go with my hymn. Boy, it's hot already. Can you believe it? I think it's going to be like, I'm not sure. Yesterday was like 108. So here it says, every flower that grows. Every, every flower that grows, every brook that flows, tell of the beauty God has given for me. Throughout my life, may beauty be deep within a heart from sin set free. Gracious Lord above, look down in love. Guard my thoughts, my life, in my walk with thee, that the day by day the world may see Christ, the Lord and Savior, lives in me. Here's the last verse. All my earthly days I shall sing and praise God, the Father, Spirit, and Christ the Son. Grant faith when life on earth is done. I shall sing with those whom rest is one. And this is every flower that grows. Every flower that grows, every brook that flows, tells of the beauty God has given for me, for you, my sister and brother. So what is what more can God the Father do for us? There's nothing more that he can do. He gave us the mind, uh, created us to be to be thinkers. We have choices to make, my sister, my brother. And I hope and pray that you have made your calling and election sure, standing on the winning team. Standing on the winning team. And we know at the end, from Genesis to Revelation, we know that God wins in the end. So let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you for this message today. I thank you for my sister, my brother that stopped by today and the ones that are going to be stopping by in the future. Continue, Father God, to bless us. Woo us, Father God, so that we have a deeper relationship with you. If we have done anything, Father God, was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, I ask you that you forgive us and wash us whiter than snow. And once you've done that, Father God, we ask you to take these empty vessels, Father God, Fill us, use us, mold us, shape us into what you want us to do. And Father God, we'll forever give you all the praise. 
Father God, take us, Father God, and use these empty vessels that we will be, a, uh, be able to finish the work that you have gave each one of us to do. I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. What, sweetheart? Okay, I'll be there. I'll be right there. I'm grandmother on duty today, my sister and brother. I'm grandmama on duty today. Got my two grandsons here. It's a privilege to have grandchildren uh, that you are able to uh, minister and to serve. God is so good. God is good. So God is good all the time. God is good. So whether uh, we uh, make a mistake, remember God is good. So we are the one that be making the mistake, right? Not God, but God. We are the ones. So God is always good. Okay. So with that, my sister and brother. So if you have received a blessing, can you do me a favor? Can you hit the like button? Can you make a comment? I'm cooking right now. I'm cooking some. Um, what is it? Split peas split peas you know the green one the green one I couldn't find the yellow split peas but these are the green split peas so that's what I'm cooking right now then I'm going to serve that with some um, I'm thinking about eggplant I got so much eggplant and um, cucumber and a lot of stuff tomatoes so I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all that in a little while then I'm going to make some homemade granola because I was meaning to do that about a week ago so I'm going to go ahead and um, go ahead and make my homemade granola uh, so that's what I'm doing today and so with that once you make a comment uh, you can share what you're doing today what are you doing today then you can hit the share button remember sharing is caring so then you can follow me over YouTube on the Bedell Warrior while you're there hit the subscribe button bell notification and whether you're on Facebook or YouTube you can give me a thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up 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 I thank you my sister and brother for taking the time out of your busy schedule to stop by here today and you know what God will bless you for, for doing that and, and can you just go ahead and just share someone needs to hear a word from the Lord Ren right now right now right now so thank you thank you love you love you appreciate you so may I have a hug here we go one two three thank you so much for that hug my sister and brother I love you love you love you appreciate you but guess what Jesus loves you more, much, much more. So until um, tomorrow, be blessed and take care. And I told you the topic for tomorrow will be the creation of Lucifer. So talk to you guys tomorrow. Be blessed and take care.